guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So I just got my BoxyCharm in the mail and I thought I would go ahead and do an unboxing with you guys. I did see a spoiler a few weeks ago. I think it was either on like their Facebook page or on Instagram. And ever since I saw that spoiler, I have been eagerly anticipating this box because I cannot wait to try that product. I won't spoil it for you guys yet. Of course, I'm about to talk about it in a second. But before I do, if you guys are new to BoxyCharm, it is a $21 a month beauty subscription service. So basically you sign up and every single month you get a box delivered to your door with four to five deluxe size products or full size products. The products are usually full size and the box usually retails for over $100. So it has been one of my favorite subscription services. I feel like 2016 has been amazing for BoxyCharm and I've just discovered a lot of favorites. So if you guys do want to see what has been in my previous boxes, I will link my playlist in the description box below or right above my head. And if you guys are interested in signing up, you can actually get the November box if you like what's inside this box, unless they sell out. So I'll have the website in the description box below. Since it is so early in the month, I don't think they'll be sold out yet, but just make sure to check their social media first before you guys sign up if you do want this specific box because they always let you know if they sell out. Okay, I went straight for the bottom of the box because this is what I saw that they were including on either their Facebook page or their Instagram. It is the Studio Makeup On The Go Eyeshadow Palette. And they included one of these in either, it wasn't October, I think it was the September box, and I fell in love with it. I use it all the time. Actually, let me grab it real quick. So this is the one that they included in a previous box. It's full of neutrals, and I love the shadows. I feel like they're so wearable. The shimmery shades in particular are so pigmented and beautiful and I also like the matte shades. So this month they included a similar palette but this one comes with completely different colors. So this one contains, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It has so many pretty like purple mauve tones and then it has a few pink shades and a few gray shades. So these aren't necessarily colors that I reach for on an everyday basis like the previous palette but I love them because they are so unique. I don't have a lot of shadows like this in my collection and honestly I love wearing pinks and purples on my eyes. I just don't do it enough. This palette is actually worth $49.95, which is crazy. And honestly, the shadows in the previous palette were really nice quality, so I'm definitely looking forward to trying this one out. So that's the only spoiler I saw in the box, so everything else will be a surprise. So the next thing comes in bubble wrap, which it's always nice when they do that. But this is an illuminating face highlighter. It says Vintage by Jessica... Liebeskind, I'm sure I butchered her name, but it comes in a really pretty box. It's white with a gold flower on it, so let me open this up. Okay, it says it is in the color rose gold. It comes in this really nice compact, so let me, oh, it's really different than I thought it was going to be. I either thought it was going to be like a face powder with a little bit of a glow to it, or a gold highlighter, but it's a really beautiful kind of coral pink blush. This is like my favorite color blush to wear, so let me swatch it. Oh wait, when you swatch it on your hand, it comes off really subtle, like it doesn't look like it does in the pan. So I'll do a close up, but it kind of has a very, very light sheen to it. So now looking at it, I feel like you could use it as a face powder. I feel like it might be way too light to use as a blush for a lot of people. I don't know. I mean, it could be a really pretty blush topper. I feel like for my skin tone, it would make a really subtle blush, but if you have a medium to deep skin tone, it might be a nice subtle highlight. I definitely have to play around with it a little bit and see, but it is really beautiful. I know that I'm going to get use out of it. The packaging is so nice. Let me know what you guys thought about this or if you got a different color than me. The next thing in here is an eyeshadow brush from the brand Crown, and it is their C513 brush. So it looks like a pencil brush, and it would be great for either applying eyeshadow on the lower lash line or applying an inner corner highlight, a brow bone highlight, or if you want like a really precise crease application, this would be a great option. I've never tried this brush brand in the past, but I always use brushes like this for my lower lash line, highlight, crease, so I feel like it has so many uses, and I love getting brushes in my subscription services. So I can't wait to try this one out. The next thing in here is from the brand Skin Iceland and I've actually gotten something from this brand in the past. I don't know if I got it in a BoxyCharm or a different subscription service but they were kind of like these gel under eye patches that you apply if you have puffy under eyes and they really just like soothe and de-puff your eye area. So this is the Icelandic Relief Eye Cream and it comes with glacial flower extract. So that sounds really interesting. It says that it helps with under eye circles, crow's feet, thirsty or like dehydrated skin and under eye bags, which I definitely have. So I am really bad about using an eye cream in my beauty routine. So I'm definitely going to try this one out. Oh, it comes in like an interesting, oh, 
Okay, so you roll it up and you can actually apply it like this, or I'm sure you can take it on your finger and just dab underneath your under eye, and it's supposed to have a cooling sensation. So I really need to be better about eye creams and just like under eye treatments because I do struggle with puffy under eyes. So I'm definitely going to give this a shot. I feel like it's perfect for me. And the last thing in here is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics, and I love the things that I've tried from this brand. I feel like they've changed up their packaging. This looks really nice, and it is their Kiss Proof Lip Cream, and I got this shade Antique pink which is really beautiful it's definitely something I would wear and I think it goes perfectly with the eyeshadow palette so this is supposed to be a full coverage high impact liquid lipstick that's supposed to last for hours so let me swatch it and see if it is smudge proof I'm applying it it seems to be a really thin formula let me let it dry for a second and we'll see if it's smudge proof okay I'm waiting for this to dry it is taking a little while to dry I'm having just like so much anxiety today and a lot of you guys told me to cut out caffeine you said that it makes a huge difference and I feel like it really does but I had such a long weekend I was so tired today so I drank a giant coffee like right before I filmed this video and I I'm just like shaky and I really feel like my anxiety kicked me in so you guys were totally right coffee definitely enhances anxiety and I really need to find like another way to kind of like boost my energy that's just a little tangent but I do appreciate that tip and I feel like it has really helped me so if you guys have any other tips on how to like boost your energy other than like exercise and eating right and caffeine I would really appreciate them okay so part of it dried and it dries matte and it's definitely smudge proof like if I take my finger and really rub across this I'm sure it will come off but just like to the touch it's smudge proof and it looks like it's going to stay in place so I definitely will get a lot of use out of it it's a really beautiful color perfect for fall and winter it actually doesn't come off that easily with a makeup remover wipe too which is great because it means that it probably is long wearing so that is everything I got in my boxycharm this month I feel like I don't know I always love boxycharm and this month was no exception I feel like the fact that they included this eyeshadow palette alone makes it worth it to me because I would totally spend $21 on this and it retails for 50 so even if you just sign up to get this palette I feel like it's a great deal but I mean everything else in the palette was great too that highlighter might not appeal to everyone depending on your skin tone but I feel like you could really get use out of all of the other products and I just I never really have anything negative to say about boxycharm I feel like the box is awesome the subscription service has just been one of my favorites so if you guys are interested in boxycharm I will have their website in the description box below otherwise I hope that you guys just have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you in my next video bye